Hey guys, it's me Ricky here, and today I'm giving you guys a tour of the Lego store located in downtown Disney and Disney World in Orlando, Florida. So let's get started. So um, here we have the main mock of this uh, Lego store, which his name is Brickley. He's like the serpent who's been here forever, according to my parents. This guy's old. This mock is older than me. And um, Lego does have a set of him, a mini Brickley. They have two, and I picked one up for me, and be expecting a review on that. So get a good look at Brickley. Really nice mock. I mean, just think of how many green pieces went into that. You have his body, which loops into the water and goes out, and then his tail. So that was Brickley the Lego serpent or whatever it is. So here we have the uh, Lego store and it's pretty early in the morning so there's hardly anybody here so you know that's, that's awesome. So let's go take a look at the mocks. Right now there's a Lego store employee uh, restocking on something I don't know he's putting some more bricks there or something. Okay so here's one um, one of the mocks besides some Brickley which I guess that if Lego wanted to be on Disney grounds then Disney kind of made them build some Lego mocks if they wanted to stay because you know this is Disney grounds right here downtown Disney so this mock is from a movie called Sleeping Beauty I'm not sure if you've seen it it's a scene where Prince Philip battles the purple and black dragon which looks really awesome very detailed mock one of the most detailed mocks I've seen give you a good zoom up of that and he's spitting out something from his mouth, some kind of green and yellow flame. And there's the Prince Philip riding the horse. And there's all these flames down here. Now I believe that black seems to be his tail. Then there's uh, a family of Lego people, but I'll show you that on the way out since you know people love to come and just um, take photos with those with the family. So I'll show you that later. So moving on to our third mock outside the Lego store here at downtown Disney is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I have to jump over that right now. But yeah, here's the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs mock. It's pretty much just the Seven Dwarfs mining. It reminds me of Minecraft. I don't know why. That could be like diamond or something and redstone. It's just random. Anyways, so yeah, there's a cave there. And then I just really like I, I forgot his name. I used to name all the I used to know the names of all the dwarves. But there's um I like the way how his beard was built with the white bricks. It looks nice. Wow, there really is nobody here at this time. They're probably all at the parks or something. And here's another Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs mock. There's Snow White, built out Lego bricks with, I believe, this is like the only name of the dwarf that I know now. Uh, Dopey, I think that is. Yeah, Dopey. Snow White's kissing him on the head. And then the, you got some deer and some birds and some kind of other animal. And they're playing Pirates of the Caribbean music now. They're playing the Pirates of the Caribbean main theme. It's pretty cool. And here's the, I believe, final mock here until we get inside the store. And this is the Toy Story 1 scene where Andy's leaving with his mom to, to the uh, new house. And all the toys go with him and Buzz and Woody are left behind and they have to use the, uh, the RC uh, car to kind of like speed up and then, you know, Buzz's jets, his jetpack starts working over as his wings and they go pretty much fly with that, uh, whatever, that rocket, bottle rocket, whatever that is. So yeah, I mean, Lego, the, the way that they did the steam, or the thrust, sorry, thrust here is really nice. I mean, you got some red and orange bricks for detailing. You got the white. The RC car looks awesome. I believe that Lego made that set, uh, they, they made it into a set with the Toy Story line two years ago. So that's pretty cool. I'll give you a nice look at Buzz and Woody. There's Woody. And Buzz, so Infinity and Beyond, or whatever they say in that movie. So now let's go inside the store. So here's the second entrance. You got the Lego brick with the signature Lego logo. So 
So uh, here we are inside the store. Uh, here we have the uh, the, mon the new Monster Fighter sets. Pretty cool. Here are the new Ninjagos. Really nice. Um, I might pick up um, some. I am getting this set right now, the, uh, the JZX. Cause I, I do have JZX, as you guys know. But um, and that set that I, that I got him in, which was I believe the Storm Fighter, he brought really no uh, shoulder pads. So now I'm getting this with the shoulder pads. Uh, Ninjago, the movies from Cartoon Necker on DVD. I'm trying, I'm trying to look for season one. Uh, Justin's Bounty. Here's a display case right now with the Rattlecopter, I believe that is. And it's some kind of training set with Kai. And here is, I wish I could get this set. I might for Christmas or something. But this is a really, really nice set over here, guys. This is the um, the epic dragon battle from the uh, last episode of the Jago Rise of the Snakes. You got Garmored on over there with the four arms. And he has all the golden weapons. Got Sensei Wu trap in the brig. JZX right there. You got the four-headed dragon, which is really awesome. You know, it's the ice, the fire, the earth, and the lightning dragons all combined into one. And you got the awesome green ninja who turned out to be Lord ZX. I know I said in, said in my uh, review of the Venomari Shrine that I thought I was going to be saying. Turned out it was um, Lord Garmadon, so I mean, that's pretty cool. And then you got the Great Devourer, which I think Lego could have done a better job on. It, it, it's nice, but it was a lot bigger the scale for the dragon in the shell, so. Other than Jago sets, little displays here. Here's the other uh, DC superheroes. Got some sets, back cave sets. I'm trying to look for the, the Spider Man, but I don't think they have that in stock. We have some Avenger sets. We got the Quinjet Aerial Battle. And then I forgot, what's the name of this set? Hulk's Par Helicarrier Breakout. The, the Avengers was a great movie. Pretty cool sets. Then you got the Lord of the Rings sets. I have never watched any of these movies, but for you guys who know, I'll give you guys a close up at that. Now I'm moving on to probably my favorite part of the video, Star Wars section. So here we have the Death Star right here. That's about to be discontinued, guys. Just saying, so you know. Got some displays over here. Here's a Death Star fully built. Really nice model. I'll give you guys a nice look at that. You got some new 2012 sets, which, which I've been out for uh, some time now. You got the Planet sets. You got the massive U, uh, USC R2D2 Ultimate Collector Series. There are some other sets uh, down here. Oh, look. Out of the, probably the only some sets I have here, because I came here yesterday and I picked up um, the Desert Skift. And I did go Legoland uh, two days ago, but I didn't do a video of that. It will just take too long. Um, I did get some sets there. So uh, here's a Papa King's Arrest. I mean, I would buy this, but it's $90. I think that's a bit overpriced, but considering you get these really nice figures over here, Give you a zoom up at that. So yeah. So the whole trader, T6, the Falcon. Yeah, some of the older uh, 2011 summer sets. This old dictionary. Some more displays. Get the Pod Racer set. You can watch my review on that. We got some manual sets here. The vintage Boba. It's pretty nice. Some new manual sets. Why they put Hero Factory here? Um, I'm not a big fan of Hero Factory, but I'll still give you a, um, a look at these. I'm more of a Bionicle guy. I don't know why LEGO ever did switch. And LEGO is discontinuing Ninjago, so I think that's a... Um, I don't really like that, but I like Ninjago. Here's the Architect sex. Falling water. These, these steps have some really nice detail. And sorry for the noise. Some great base plates, that's what I do my reviews on. Um, as you guys saw in my last review, which was the Spider-Man, I wanted to tile the base plates. But I won't be able to do that because I thought that, that they were, in, in the pick a brick wall here, they would have more 2x4 tiles, or even 2x2. Two two. Here are some of these Lego games. we got the Harry Potter City, the... Ah, uh, whatever that one is. 
Um, there's the SpongeBob sets, Flying Dutchman. I have the older SpongeBob sets, which are a lot nicer. They really made these a lot smaller. I don't really like them. And then there's the Pick a Brick Wall, which pretty much owns the dwarf Pick a Brick Wall in the Aventura Lego store, which is the Lego store, which is my local Lego store. And these are the only two Lego stores in Miami, so I have two tours or videos on the two Lego stores in Miami. Not, not Miami, Florida. Good morning, welcome to Lego. Welcome. Thank you. Here are the pick up brick wall. Like I said, you got a lot of pieces here, but they have a lot of things here, all except for the 2 by 4s But uh, here's some of the Kingdom sets, the Molder sets, the Volkswagen. That's a new set, I, I forgot what it's called. I know it's the camel or something like that. Here's some kind of computer station. Here are the keychains right here. These keychains are pretty useful if, if you know how to take off the main figure from them. Here are some um, displays over here. We got a mini Brickly, which is the really little one. I'll explain to you when I showed off Brickly over there. There's two. This is the, the smaller one. And here's the minifigure pr presentation box. I don't really like this so much for the price. Uh, cashier register. Here's the, uh, the Clone Trooper and Commando Door Battle Pack. We have some Ninjago card sets. Pretty nice. Card displays. Battle packs. The Friends, which are which is a terrible line. And here is the other Brickly that I mentioned to you guys which I did pick up when I came here yesterday so I'll be expecting a review right after this video on that when I get back down to Miami so now let's move on to the other half of the store this video is already going on 12 minutes it's a lot uh, here's Woody right here nice mock at the opening for the Lego store in Aventura Mall um, I went and everybody built a, uh, a Buzz Lightyear like they built a part of it with, um, with the Lego Master Builder Dan I think that this is the same Buzz Lightyear, like the same design, model. Here are some other sets and displays. This set's massive right here. This will take a lot of time to build. This is the, uh, the Superstar Destroyer. Bring some nice minifigures though. New Dengar. Here's the Ultimate Collector Series R2. Touch up or whatever that is. Got some Lego Technics. Lego Dino, which Lego does release some themes which don't really go far, I, I, I'm starting to notice. Here's some kind of a uh, creativity room, whatever. Then you got uh, some mugs with some names in them. I can't find Ricky or Richard somewhere around here. I have to look for that. Uh, here's the Lego NBA uh, kits, I can respect for that. You guys can go watch my review on all six of these kits. Um, yeah, I probably will be uh, renewing for level three coming. But it's only three sets, so I hope they're pretty nice, because uh, so far I'm not really that impressed. Here's some of the Alien Conquest sets, more keychains, you got some Lego watches, more of that Brickly model I showed you, the bigger Brickly. Some books and stuff. You guys can go check out my review on this, the character encyclopedia. More things in this place. Got some more displays. The Lego Mega Kit One. Then here is the um, mini, multi mini build. So, some other Dupo sets I'm not even going to bother to show you. Some of the Harry Potter sets, which I think will be discontinued soon. Harry Potter displays. The Parks of the Caribbean displays. There's the Ila de Muerta. You guys should go check out my review on that. And the Black Pearl, which I do have the Makeup Blocks one, but this one looks 10 times better. There's some more Parks of the Caribbean sets. So yeah, and uh, last but not least, got some of the Lord of the Rings sets. Another cashier over there. Build your own minifigure. And some more sets over there. So that pretty much includes this, uh, this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you guys could have heard me. But yeah, so here's the downtown Disney area. Pretty nice. And until the next review, which will be on the Brickly mini model. Bye, guys.